uh, human rights cannot be divided. Uh, when when uh, a person is being murdered uh, by a, a, a tank shell, by a, a missile that is uh, sent from some American uh, uh, war boat uh, stationed in the Gulf, or by a drone controlled by some uh, California-based uh, uh, soldier somewhere, uh, it doesn't change the fact that that person's human rights have been violated and that it is, uh, uh, it, it could be argued that what is taking place is a war crime and crimes against humanity. Uh, what the Obama administration has done is that they tried in their, in their uh, thinking, they tried to find some sort of a compromise between the war party, the neoconservatives under the Bush administration, and a somewhat more amiable, more likable, more soft foreign policy approach under a supposedly more progressive Obama administration. So they reached this conclusion, fine, let's not pull a trigger on the ground, let's not have boots on the ground, let's kill people from the air. Um, in my opinion, not it's only equally criminal to what the Bush administration has done, but to a degree, it's even more criminal because, uh, of course, it's very cowardly when you send drones from uh, 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 from ships in, in in the sea or from some uh, places where they are stationed in in various countries in Central Asia or the Mediterranean uh, or the Gulf and murder people at will. Uh, but rather, it is also, uh, in my opinion, even more illegal because at least. In the case of Iraq, although they could not obtain uh, that international mandate, they needed to go and wage an illegal war. Uh, drones don't even, uh, they don't even bother to obtain any sort of uh, uh, consensus or any sort of uh, legal cover to what they are doing. So suddenly, uh, while Iraq, Afghanistan, and a few other places were the, the, uh, uh, the ground for American wars, Drones had made, uh, expanded, if you will, the, the scope and the space uh, uh, in which American uh, military men are, are now operating. They could be striking at will anywhere without bothering to declare a war. No one would even, you know, kind of, uh, no one seems to be protesting that this is an act of war. Even people on, on the, you know, like within the human rights community they protest the illegality of it. They protest that it does not discriminate between civilians and, and, and militants or, or, you know, suspected terrorists. But it seems that uh, very few are actually concerned with, with uh, the fact that it's an act of war and a stark violation of a, a country's sovereignty, whether Pakistan or Yemen or Somalia. Uh, so it's actually, in my opinion, it's it's even uh, uh, more illegal. Uh, it's an uh, undeclared uh, undeclared uh, war against any country that they suspect that there are people who pose some sort of danger to the U.S. However, according to Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, where they still tend to be so very careful and cautious of, of how they approach American war crimes, they are uh, uh, basically saying that what is happening. It's a, a clear violation of the human rights, and it has to be stopped. Uh, but uh, unlike uh, the, the, the years of the Bush administration, where you had millions of Americans protesting war on the streets, Obama managed to hoodwink, uh, hoodwink everyone to thinking that uh, this is really not the kind of thing that requires mobilization. It's a matter of an opinion. Is it legal? Is it illegal? Uh, so Obama is able to carry on with the Bush's war legacy, but without getting the flag and the, the criticism that Bush was getting.